Let's talk about mouses. This is my second video that I've done about mouses and I want to compare the Logitech MX Master to a Apple Magic Mouse. So the Apple Magic Mouse gets some, let's call it criticism for its design. It's kind of infamous where it's got the lightning connector at the bottom so that you can charge it and use it at the same time. Um, we're going to talk about the Logitech MX Master. I've already mentioned a couple of things in a different video about how much I really enjoy this mouse. I want to defend the Magic Mouse second so apple's magic mouse i have one i haven't used it all that much obviously they've implemented some features in there with touch and whatnot and gesturing on the the mouse and they've done it the apple way and that's all great i think it's a comfortable enough mouse a little bit flat for my liking it's very capable and the different gestures you can do in there i think are great and i like the way they've done it i want to defend for a second i've heard someone say this one time and i've heard other people criticize it a million times the design putting the lightning in the bottom and not being able to charge and use it at the same time that's an apple thing and it's an apple thing not because someone just didn't think about it correctly but someone decided that they didn't want to have the lightning in the front and be able to use it where let's just say half the people that are using the mouse will have the lightning connector always in because they don't want to keep charging it and connect it to the mouse Apple's all about design, Apple's all about sleekness, Apple's all about their way of doing things. And essentially, I think, my opinion, I heard one other person say it, that Apple designed it that way where the lightning goes on the bottom so that you can't use it on purpose and so that you have to charge it, unplug it, start using it, no wires, nice, sleek, looks good with everything else as opposed to permanently having it, you know. We're not in the 90s anymore where every single mouse was wired and you had a cable going to the back of your computer. We're in the 21st century. So let's have a mouse that's always wireless and will always appear to be wireless, whether it's charging or not, because you can't charge it while using it. So that's my defense over the Magic Mouse. There's been a lot of talk in the opposite direction of how a silly a decision that was to put the lightning port on the bottom. Apple could have put it in the front, Apple could have put it in the back, they're smart, they could have had some sneaky little way of getting it in there to be able to use it. They decided not to do that on purpose, right? Not by, whoops, we put it on the bottom and that's the way it's gonna be. So I just wanna defend a little bit. That's my rant on their design of that mouse. Secondary to that, the MX Master mouse is a beautiful, fantastic mouse. I have it right here. So this is what I'm talking about. There's so many things that this mouse does that you think, does a mouse have to do all these things? Well, if it does do them and you have it, it makes life very convenient in many different ways. So again, if you've seen my previous video, I'm gonna go over a couple of points here that you've already heard. And the first one is gonna be the wheel right here. So this is, you, you can just kind of scroll nice and gentle and you're gonna hear it in my mic. But if I go a little bit faster, it basically just continues to go. Let's try and get that in focus. So if you can see, it's moving there. It might not appear, but it's still moving and it just stopped. So it basically continuously goes. It's more of a tactile, nice feeling to utilize that little scroll feature and have it just continuously go and then stop it. And it has a little, little click, click, click. It's just a nice little fidgety thing. I, I like to fidget and, and if you've got a mouse in your hand for eight hours a day, fidgeting with the scroll wheel is one way of, you know, entertaining yourself a little bit. Don't underestimate how nice and tactile the clicks and the function of the things are that we use on a day-to-day -day basis. It goes a, a long way to have something that feels nice in your hand, that is practical, that does a lot of things and has some entertaining value, even if it's meaningless, um, in your life. So there you go. You have a little scroll wheel on the side. Sadly, that doesn't do the same thing, but that can be your side scrolling. You have front and back button right here. You can, it's kind of intuitive how you do that. One's a little bit bigger than the other, front and back, and one's forward and back, great. One thing I almost missed is, this is a button. This thing right here, your thumb sits right there, and it clicks, clicks, clicks. That on a, I can't remember what it does on an Apple device, but on a Windows, it brings up all of your windows, and you can select through where you have open and close stuff out. So that little thing's a button. Now, I almost missed it because I was looking, I think it was like a week into having it, I was looking at the um, the instructions before I threw it out. There was like a button point, pointing to here. 
I was like, wait, that's not a button. That's just where you put your finger and then you start clicking. I'm like, it is a button. They added a little button right there. If you have the Logitech software, which I have this on my work computer and I can install that software, but I do have it on, on something else. You can customize a few different things on this, but primarily what that button does. Um, but by default on a Windows, it brings up all the windows. The last key feature, I think, probably if every other mouse had this, if you need this, then game changer for a lot of different things. At the bottom right here, you have one, two, and three, and you can click the button, and it can go through three different devices. You can pair it to three different devices, and you can go from one to the other to the other, and that's Mac and Windows and a MacBook or an iMac and a Windows laptop. You, I've got them all three programmed to this mouse, and I can go from one to the other to the other very easily. Now, I don't regularly go from one to the other to the other, but I might have it one day, my work laptop's closed and I can use it on, say, uh, my iMac, and then I open up my MacBook Pro and press a button and I'm now on that one. So for that instance and that purpose, it does a lot. Uh, a lot of functionality there and a lot of different uses where, for instance, editing, I like to use this one because it just makes the editing process a little bit simpler with the scroll wheel and, and how nice and efficient and how it feels in the hand. I haven't tried editing with the Magic Mouse. Like I said, my, my use of that has been pretty limited, though I wanted to give my little defense of the Poodle thing because it gets a lot of um, uh, issues online with people people's opinions about it online. But if I was gonna recommend any mouse, if I was gonna have one mouse for the rest of my life, let's hope mouse is on a thing in the future and you can just think about what you wanna do. But for now, we have mouses in our life and if you're gonna get one, every review, every research I did, most people's opinions out in the interweb world say that this is one of the best mices you can get. People have even commented when this has been on my work desk and said a young teenager will say to their parent, look at that mouse, and they'll, they'll, they'll be curious about it. it. It hasn't happened that often recently, but when I first got it for some reason, people start talking like, hey, look at that thing on his desk. It looks great, it feels great, it looks like a little stealth fighter. And I think they have a few different iterations of this, but this is the one I have. I like it a lot. Um, recommend it highly and leave the Magic Mouse alone. It's a great mouse. Apple designed things for a specific way. Not that I'm an Apple fanboy, but someone needs to defend that little mouse. So there's my feedback on two mouses that I've used, that I like, that I want to defend, and I hope that helped in some way, shape, or form. Have a great day. Bye.